Sebastian Ornstein, Locket. Mixed media, brass, copper, steel, patina, and carbachon cut garnet. Episcopal School of, School of Dallas, teacher Barbara Purdy. In my piece, the design and style were greatly influenced by the genre of steampunk, the act of making modern, yet at the same time, antique work. Keeping steampunk in mind, I crafted a locket showcasing blued, coppered mesh, antique brass rings, a found gear as a centerpiece, and a small red jewel placed on the top of the gear in order to create greater contrast. <laughs> Muhammad Rajabali, Harmony in Nature, Clayboard, Colleyville Heritage High School, Teacher Heidi Schaben. This piece exhibits the simplicity and beauty of the nature mixed with the creativity of man-made objects. The medium I chose creates a dramatic yet aesthetically pleasing environment. The stark contrast, along with line quality in this piece, creates a dramatic view. <laughs> Richard Ramirez. Cuckoo Bird. Mixed Media Found Objects, Booker T. Washington. Teacher, Paige Burr. This piece represents why the cuckoo bird kills. He is essentially a darker version of the ugly duckling. As a result of being abandoned as an egg, he later abandons his own young. Sergio Ramirez, Overpass, Digital Print, Brian Adams High School, Teacher, Richard Bond. My work visually expresses how the natural landscape interacts with architecture. The juxtapositions and perspectives of a waterway and a highway create conversations that make for a compelling photographic composition. <laughs> Jacqueline Rodriguez. Sentimental in color, markers, Booker T. Washington, teacher Nancy Miller. I chose the items for this still life because they are rich in pattern and color. They have sentimental value because some of the objects are gifts from loved ones. <laughs> Olivia Rodriguez, tree pot. Stoneware and Wood, Booker T. Washington High School, Performing and Visual Arts, Teacher, Paige Furr. My goal in this piece is to join two mediums, clay and wood. I did this to make an organic form using the medium from the earth that looks organic and is completely functional. <laughs> Amy Sentimentas. Commercial Christmas. Digital, Coppell High School, Tamara Westerfeld. Drawing inspiration from Andy Goesworthy, I created 50 origami paper cranes and installed them in a pine tree in my backyard. Expanding on my concentration of social and political issues, the cranes represent Christmas ornaments and the pine tree represents a Christmas tree. The cranes, all made of white paper, symbolizes the peace and purity of Jesus Christ, whose birth is the true meaning behind the Christmas holiday. I wanted to address the issue of commercialism and materialism that overshadows the happiness and causes stress and tension during the holiday season. <laughs> Taylor Smith, Make Do and Mend. Ceramics, Episcopal School of Dallas, teacher Barbara Brault. Make Do and Mend is a piece that represents time and dedication. I had no initial inspiration for this piece, just ideas that eventually came to form this one-of-a-kind sculptural bow. It took about a month to complete because sometimes the walls would collapse and there was a constant fear of cracking. Eventually, Make Do and Mend became a unique piece as the interaction of various shaped and textured shards created a double-walled form. George Sue, face, digital, 
Centennial High School, teacher Heather Wolford. It is a face composed of faces, much like all-consuming, soul-crushing omelet. A veritable melange of raw, unconquerable hunger and despair, con co composed of the broken corpses of eggs. <laughs> Mariah Tyler, social Darwinism, enhanced digital photography, Poteet High School, teacher Terry Rahosik. My work illustrates an urban counterculture often neglected by society. Using the spot color technique, I emphasize the connections between two worlds. Through these commonalities, the pro photograph parallels both worlds, the haves and the have-nots. <laughs> Elise Wooster. Inside, Digital, Colleyville Heritage High School. Teacher, Heidi Chauvin Cortese. My goal in this piece was to show emotion in an unnatural way. The frame that my friend holds depicts the portal to her soul, showing everything inside of her. <laughs> Quinn Zhang. Apples and Oranges, Oil Paint, Coppell High School, Teacher Tamar Westervelt. Influenced by the expressive images of Paul Cezanne's Still Lifes of Fruit, I sought to mirror his use of distinct, unblended values to create form. This painting embodies the Impressionist philosophy of portraying subjects with less focus on depicting such common objects as apples and oranges neatly, and more emphasis on portraying the image more loosely and expressionistically. Honorable Mention. Midnight Mass, Steel Burrow, by Steel Burrow. It's a colored digital photograph. Episcopal School of Dallas, teacher Janice Hefley. This photograph, Midnight Mass, was shot in a ghost town outside Utah's Zion National Park. To exaggerate the night sky and the mystical qualities of this isolated church, I used a long exposure and painted the edges of the church with a flashlight. This piece is one of my favorite images because of the unique quality of light and because my silhouette, caught while I was lighting the church, can be found within the image, thus creating a surreal dichotomy of ghosts. <laughs> Honorable mention, McKenna Castillo. Contemplation. Colored Pencil, Colleyville Heritage High School, Heidi Chauvin. I enjoy experimenting visually with light and shadow. In this particular portrait, I used light from the window because it created an interesting pattern. To me, this work portrays a somber mood. The way I'm looking down in the picture shows the introverted, shy, and pensive side of my personality. Honorable mention, Brandy Lemon, Invaders. Acrylic paint, Newman Smith High School, teacher Kay Goodrum. I wanted to create a feeling of panic by using the highlights and shadows of a face in distress. I separated the values into individual pools of gray. This piece was inspired by the work of Chuck Close. Honorable mention, Sabrina Luce. An unexplainable existence, it's mixed media, fiberglass, paper, wire, and enamel. Colleyville Heritage High School, teacher Tony Byam Perot. The works of Barbara Hepworth inspired this piece. I wanted to create a sculpture which combined geometric and organic forms while focusing on the continuity of the lines. This piece in its entirety represents the existentialist concept that people are free to choose their individual pathways in life, but all essentially lead to the same place in the end. <laughs> 